just 10 seconds, the Tista 3 hydropower project's 16-meter dam was destroyed by floods from the South Lonak Lake. The 13,000 crore rupees project, two decades in the making, now faces an uncertain future. Concerns arise about the ecological impact in Sikkim's glacial regions, the vulnerability to extreme weather, rapid infrastructure development and inadequate climate adaptation. The flood's primary cause was a glacial lake outburst flood, or GLOF, from the South Lonak Lake, situated in Sikkim's northwestern area at 17,000 feet. This lake is among those most prone to GLOFs. Such floods happen when glacier-fed lakes suddenly release water, often because natural barriers fail. Reasons can include earthquakes or landslides. With global warming accelerating glacier melt, GLOF events are on the rise. India has witnessed GLOFs before, like the Kedarna tragedy in 2013, and the Chamoli disaster in 2021. This event, however, is the Northeast's first major GLOF. Ignoring scientific alerts worsened these occurrences. Initiated in 2004, the Tista 3 project began operations in 2017. Initially projected at 5,000 crore rupees, delays and stake sales pushed its costs to rupees. 13,000 crore. The project faced heavy criticism for flouting environmental norms. There are currently five operational dams and at least a dozen under consideration on the Tista River. As Sikkim cleans the wreckage and counts its dead, whether this one event will seal the fate of rampant dam construction on this vital river in the northeast remains to be seen.